Today on the morning news. A 19-year-old woman dies after being hit by a bus. And a fire in a Hunsik forces the partial closure of Saint Laurent Boulevard. Live from Global Montreal, your morning news with Richard Dagenet and Camille Ross. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime gal. Are you singing Send to me? Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, set my heart on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you'll lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. There's a reason I'm doing that to launch this show, <laughs> and I think uh, certain people already know what the reason is. But before I tell that story, let me introduce myself. I am Michigan J. Frog, alongside Camille Ross. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Are there words for oh how excited goodness. we are? So much rehearsing, and now we're like finally here, and I couldn't be more excited, and I couldn't be more excited to be sitting here beside you, oh, Richard. Oh, thank you. And I, and I sitting beside you, Camille. Thank you. Uh, it is so exciting, so thrilling. It's like breathtaking. <laughs> New morning show. It's uh, for Montreal. It is absolutely uh, amazing uh, to be part of this project, so generously supported by our parent company, Shaw. They're actually launching a morning show today as well in Halifax. Go Halifax. Go mostly Montreal, but Good luck, go Halifax, Halifax as well. Um, um, and this is a show that will inform you, entertain you, enlighten you, amuse you, engage you, involve you. It is a show built by Montrealers for Montrealers. And over the course of the morning, we're going to be showing you the Montrealers who are behind Global Montreal Morning News. And over the course of the morning, too, we've got a number of special guests coming in. We have Yolan James coming in. We also have Interim Mayor Michael Applebaum, as well as our News Director, Karen McDonald, and our 6 o'clock anchor, Jamie Orchard. Looking forward to speaking to all of them this morning. During rehearsals, Camille would come in like if it was Monday, she'd say, Monday, team! Monday! So this is the Monday gesture. That's right. Tuesday was, wait, 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 don't tell me. Yeah, it was okay. Fist this, bump. Uh, this was Wednesday. We still haven't figured out what Thursday and Friday's uh, enthusiastic gestures will be, but we're working on that. I'll come up with something good, though. Absolutely. I don't doubt it. Uh, we always want to hear what you have to say. Uh, the uh, last news final that I did was January 8th. On January 9th, uh, I uh, met uh, Camille and Jessica Laventure, our weather person, out at a photo shoot. And uh, Jessica was kind of funny because all we have to do is give her a beat and she starts dancing. Maybe just over drop the course a beat. Of the morning. That's right, just drop a beat. Maybe over the course of the morning we can get her to dance. But uh, you said you were a percussionist, so give me a drum roll as we introduce Jessica. That's pretty Jessica. good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Jessica Lavanture is out Hi. live this morning at Beaconsfield train station. Jessica, welcome to Global Montreal Morning News. So exciting, oh. Jess. Really exciting. Yay. Hi, I am so excited, guys, to be here with you. Oh, gosh, yes. This is definitely such a fun morning. Um, I got to say, though, it feels a lot better than last week, considering that <laughs> it was so bitterly cold. Um, although I did cheat, and we did some of those fake lives from the truck. <laughs> right now, we have minus 13 degrees here in Beaconsfield, and uh, it's uh, a little warmer, but still a little cool. You do have to bundle up. And just so you know, uh, roads are pretty clear right now if you're going into the city. It's a little slow on the 13, but other than that, all access points and bridges are doing good. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you very much for that, Jessica. We'll check in with you in just a few minutes, but first turning to a few of your local headlines. A 19-year-old woman is dead after being hit by an STM bus. 